I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. I feel the love of God, 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 I feel the love of God. Love of God within me now. I feel the love of God. 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 I feel the love of God within me now. The love of God is what creates. Me. The love of God is everything I want. The love of God proclaims me as His Son. The love of God within me sets me free. I feel the love of God. 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 a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today in studying the Course of Miracles workbook for students. We're reading from the original edition here on Friday, Jan July the 28th of 2023. Lesson 209. It's a review of Lesson 189. I feel the love of God within me now. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. I feel the love of God within me now. I feel the love of God within me now. The love of God is what created me. The love of God is everything I am. The love of God proclaimed me as his son. The love of God within me sets me free. I feel the love of God within me now. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. I feel the love of God within me now. We want to not stop short of feeling the joy that uh, our inheritance entitles us, that we're, we are as God created us. We're love beings. Love, the love of God is what created me. The love of God is everything I am. The love of God proclaimed me as his son. The love of God within me sets me free. So feel that love of God and let it set you free. I feel the love of God within me now. Sandwich, sandwich between the ideas. I am not a body. I am free for I am still as God created me. Be sure to do your longer period of 15 minutes or more in the morning as soon as you can after you wake up and towards bedtime i do it again about 15 minutes or longer and but at least 15 now for you students that have been with me from the beginning or this is you've been through it more than once which <laughs> for me i've been through a number of times and i keep learning i keep i keep waking up i keep becoming more reasonable less mad less insane less angry less upset, <laughs> more peaceful, more feeling the love of God within me now. And then also, other than those two 15 or more minutes, morning and evening of quiet time, looking inside, asking for guidance, be sure to do a little miniature of that every hour of the day, hopefully at the beginning of the hour, but sometime during the hour. And you can even do it between the hours. So more than an hour, every hour, but at least every hour, bring your attention to, I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. I feel the love of God within me now. Okay, let's go take a look at our text reading. And we're ready for, uh, in chapter 21, the inner picture. Remember, our outer world is a result of our inner world. 
So we want the inner world, the picture of it, to be a world of innocence and, and cheer and healing and health and prosperity and blessing to everyone. And then that begins to be what's on our outer world too. Matter of fact, your outer world lets you, it attests to your state of mind, of what's going on in your inner world. So if you don't like your outer world, take those 15 minutes, take those inward lookings every hour. Be sure to look at your inner world and, and find those things that aren't bringing you peace and turn them over to the Holy Spirit to be re-perceived as a miracle. Okay, so we'll start in paragraph 59, uh, which is section 7, Reason and Correction, in just a moment. But first, what on earth is going on today? What's well, Buffalo Soldiers Day, which was established in 1866, 1866, and it was the formation of the first African American Army Regiment. Lumberjack Day, and I'll be moving lumber from my sawmill to my planer today, so I guess that kind of counts for doing lumberjack type work. National Get Gnarly Day, uh, celebrate new ideas, things you hadn't thought about doing that you might like to do, or things you thought about, just go ahead and do it today, Get Gnarly Day. National Hamburger Day, National Melt Chocolate Day, National Talk in an Elevator Day. You know, when I was fundamentalist Christian, and uh, for many years I was, uh, you know, the Bible thumping, uh, I guess that's what they call you, <laughs> uh, soul winner, always trying to tell people about Jesus and how to, how to, you know, turn your life over to him and free yourself from sin. And of course, I had the idea that the way you freed yourself from sin was considerably different than what A Course of Miracles teaches. Um, and and anyway, I, I, I used to talk to people in the elevator. <laughs> as soon as that door would shut, it's my fa favorite question was, if you died right now, would you go to heaven or hell? Of course, you know, I never really figured out until years later after I'd quit doing that, why people would feel a little uneasy, me talking to them about death, and it's just me and them in an elevator. <laughs> Anyway, I had no intention on any harming anybody, for sure. Just wanted to help people. It was To me, it was like they're in a burning building and they need to be saved from the fire. And I still feel that way, but not in a, a much different way now. Now I'm much more recognizing that we're all exactly where we need to be in the journey and that if we can assist each other, it'll be shown to us. We don't have to use that compulsion and feeling that if we don't help them, they're going to go to hell or something like that. Uh, that whole idea has kind of gone bye-bye in my world, which I'm so thankful for. Uh, National Water Park Day, System Administrator Appreciation Day, World Hepatitis Day, and World Nature Conservation Day. World Conservation, Nature Conservation Day. And then also in edible landscaping, let's take another look at another strawberry. And this particular one is called the Alexandra. Oh, no, no, it didn't. It's the, um, which one is it? Alpine red strawberry is what I've got. Where did I find an alpine red? Alexander Alpine Red Strawberry. That's what it is. Alexandra Alpine Red Strawberry. Alexandra is an alpine strawberry with deep red fruit, an ever-bearing plant that sets fruit buds when temperatures at night are below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, produces no runners, but grows in a clump-like manner. Height 6 to 10 inches tall, excellent ground cover or in rock gardens or borders. Native to the Scandinavian forests of Europe, fruits, fruits are soft, flavorful, and gourmet. Zones three through seven, space one foot circles. And that's your Alexandra Alpine Red Strawberry, which it's a Fragaria, that's been our genus of strawberries. And this is a Vesca is a species of Vesca. 
and thank you Edible Landscaping for that information. Okay, reason and correction, paragraph 59. Before we read it, let's once again on our lesson, or a again, not once again. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. I feel the love of God within me now. The love of God is what created me. The love of God is everything I want. The love of God proclaimed to me as his son, as his effect. He'd be in the cause, and I'm the effect. He's the Father, I'm the Son. The love of God within me sets me free. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. 59, in paragraph 21. Reason cannot see sin, but can see errors and leads to their correction. It does not value them, but their correction. Reason will also tell you when you think you sin, you call for help. Reason will also tell you when you think you sin, you call for help. Yet, if you will not accept the help you call for, you will not believe that it is yours to give. And so you will not give it, thus maintaining the belief. For uncorrected error of any kind deceives you about the power that is in you to make correction. If it can correct and you allow it not to do so, you deny it to yourself and to your brother. And if he shares the same belief, you both will think that you are damned. This you could spare him and yourself. For reason would not make way for correction in you alone. For reason would not make way for correction in you alone. We're all in this together. Your brother and sisters are part of you. Paragraph 60. Correction cannot be accepted or refused. Correction cannot be accepted or refused by you without your brother. Sin would maintain it can. Yet reason tells you that you cannot see your brother or yourself as sinful and still perceive the other innocent who looks upon himself as guilty and sees a sinless world and who could see a sinful world and look upon himself apart from it. Sin would maintain you must be separate, but reason tells you that this must be wrong. Catch that. Uh, Or to say, who can see a sinful world and look upon himself apart from it? Sin would maintain you must be separate, but reason tells you that this must be wrong. If you are joined, how could it be that you have private thoughts? If you are joined with your brother, how could it be that you have private thoughts? This idea of private thoughts <laughs> is really silly. And how could thoughts that enter into what but seems like yours alone have no effect at all on what is yours? If minds are joined, this is impossible. A uh, last couple of sentences again. If you are joined, how could it be that you have private thoughts? And how could thoughts that enter into what but seems like yours alone have no effect at all on what is yours? If minds are joined, this is impossible. No one, and next paragraph 61, no one can think that this, no one can think but for himself, as God thinks not without his son. No one can think but for himself as God thinks not without his Son. Only were both in bodies could this be, nor could one mind think only for itself unless the body were the mind. For only bodies can be separate and therefore unreal. The home of madness cannot be the home of reason. Yet it is easy to leave the home of madness if you see reason. You do not leave insanity by going somewhere else. You leave it simply by accepting reason where madness was. You do not leave insanity 
by going somewhere else. You leave insanity simply by accepting reason, where madness was. Madness and reason see the same things, but it is certain that they look upon them differently. But it is certain they look upon them differently. Madness is an attack on reason that drives it out of mind and takes its place. This is paragraph 62. Madness is an attack on reason that drives reason out of mind and takes reason's place. Reason does not attack, but takes the place of madness quietly, replacing madness if it be the will of the insane to listen to it. Reason does not attack, but takes the place of madness quietly, replacing madness if it be the will of the insane to listen to it. But the insane know not their will, for they believe they see the body and let their madness tell them it is real. Reason would be incapable of this, and if you would defend the body against your reason, you will not understand the body or yourself. 63. The body does not separate from your brother, and if you think it does, you are insane. But madness has a purpose and believes it is also. But madness has a purpose and believes it also has the means to make its purpose real. To see the body as a barrier between what reason tells you must be joined must be insane. Nor could you see it if you heard the voice of reason. What can there be that stands between what is continuous? And if there is nothing in between, how can what enters part be kept away from other parts? Reason would tell you this, but think what you must recognize if it be so. 64. If you choose sin instead of healing, you would condemn the Son of God to what can never be corrected. You tell him by your choice that he is damned, separate from you and from his Father forever and without a hope of safe return. You teach him this, and you will learn of him exactly what you taught. Wow, that's why we don't want to teach sin, because we don't want to learn it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a reason, and being that it makes us mad. It's the opposite of reason. For you can teach him only what he is as you would have him, and what you choose he be is but your choice for him. Oh, is, and excuse me. For you can teach him only what he is as you would have him, and what you choose he be is but your choice for you. Yet think not this is fearful, that you are joined to him is but a fact, not an interpretation. How can a fact be fearful unless it disagrees with what you hold more dear than truth? How can a fact be fearful unless it disagrees with what you hold more dear than truth? Reason will tell you that this fact is your release. Neither your brother nor yourself can be attacked alone, but neither can accept a miracle instead without the other being blessed by it and healed of pain, 63, 65. Reason like love would reassure you and seeks not to frighten you. The power to heal the Son of God is given you because he must be one with you. You are responsible for how he sees himself, and reason tells you it is given you to change his whole mind, which is one with you, in just an instant. And any instant serves to bring complete correction of his errors and make him whole. The instant that you choose to let yourself be healed, in that same instant is his whole salvation seen as complete with yours. Again, in inst the instant that you choose to let yourself be healed, in that same instant is his whole salvation seen as complete with yours. Reason is given you to understand that this is so. For reason, 
kind as is the purpose for which it is the means, leads steadily away from madness toward the goal of truth. And here you will lay down the burden of denying truth. This is the burden that it that is terrible and not the truth. Lay down the burden for reason kind as the purpose for which it is the means leads steadily away from madness toward the goal of truth. And here you will lay down the burden of denying truth. This is the burden that is terrible and not the truth. 66. That you are joined is your salvation, the gift of heaven, not the gift of fear. Does heaven seem to be a burden to you? In madness, yes. And yet what madness sees must be dispelled by reason. Reason assures you heaven is what you want and all you want. Reason assures you heaven is what you want and all you want. Listen to him who speaks with reason and brings your reason into line with his. Be willing to let reason be the means by which he would direct you how to leave insanity behind. Hide not behind insanity in order to escape from reason. What madness would conceal? The Holy Spirit still holds out for everyone to look upon with gladness. <laughs> We're going the happy way, the peaceful way, and that's the reasonable way. It's not the mad or the insane way because it, 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 it's, it's in... All its facts are in alignment with, with the way you know it is because it's in alignment with peace. But that, that peace that you experience is a statement that it's reasonable, that it's, it's truth, it's real. Paragraph 67. You are your brother's savior. He is yours. Reason speaks happily indeed of this. This gracious plan was given love by love. And what love plans is like itself in this. Being united, it would have you learn what you must be. And being one with it, it must be given you to give what it has given and give still. St spend but an instant in the glad acceptance of what is given you to give your brother and learn with him what has been given both of you. To give is no more blessed than to receive, but neither is it less. Okay, so he's kind of correcting um, an idea that uh, we might think that, you know, the, that to give is more blessed than to receive. But he's saying, actually, the reality is, because see, we're starting to see that when you give to somebody else, you're actually given to yourself. And that's why you, from that perception or from that extent, expanded observation of truth, then to give is the same as receiving. So from that standpoint, to give is no more blessed than to receive, but neither is it less. 68. The Son of God is always blessed as one, and as his gratitude goes out to you who blessed him, reason will tell you that it cannot be you stand apart from blessing. The Son of God is always blessed as one, and as his gratitude goes out to you who blessed him, reason will tell you that it cannot be you stand apart from blessing. The gratitude he offers you reminds you of the thanks your Father gives you for completing him. And here alone does reason tell you that you can understand what you must be. Your father is as close to you as is your brother. Yet, what is there that could be nearer you than is yourself? Yet, what is there that could be nearer you than is yourself? Your father, the next sentence before that, your father is as close to you as is your brother. Yet, what is there that could be nearer you than is yourself? And what he's saying is that we're all as near each other as ourself, which is our brother and our father and what appears to be ourself in this experience. And the last paragraph, 69. 
The power that you have over the Son of God is not a threat to his reality, it but attests to his reality. Where could his freedom lie but in himself, if he be free already? And who could bind him but himself, if he deny his freedom? God is not mocked. No more his son can be imprisoned, save by his own desire. His son can be imprisoned, saved by his own desire. And it is by his own desire that he is freed. Such is his strength and not his weakness. He is at his own mercy. And where he chooses to be merciful, there is he free. But where he chooses to condemn instead, there is he held a prisoner, waiting and chains his pardon on himself. To set him free. And of course you pardon yourself by pardoning your brother. Okay, well be sure to do your two extended periods morning and evening today. Of I feel the love of God within me now. And of course start it by saying I am not a body, I am free. For I am still as God created me. And then say, I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of... No, that's not quite right. Let's get that the way it's supposed to be. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God with Him. Love of God is what created me. The love of God is everything I want. The love of God proclaimed me as His Son. The love of God within me sets me free. I feel the love of God. 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 I feel the love of God within. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God within me now. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God within me now. The love of God is what created me. The love of God is everything I want. The love of God proclaimed me as His Son. The love of God within me sets me free. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God, I feel the love of God. I feel the love of God within me now. I am not a body, I am free. For I am still as God created me. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. I feel the love of God within me now. The love of God is what created me. The love of God is everything I want. The love of God proclaimed me as his son. The love of God within me sets me free. I feel the love of God within me now. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me.